Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I want to say I'm not sure if I know everything about brook trout. I see some cases in here that have been doing it a lot longer than me, like Fran Smith and Bob Boulder. Uh, they were here working on the Washington River before I started in 1990. Uh, but I have to say, uh, when I came out here, uh, I was, went electrofishing with uh, Fran in the Washington River and discovered the brook trout were still there. Uh, and at that time, the seabird brook trout was almost like a unicorn to be real. I mean, they think, oh yeah, they go out to the ocean, right? Does anybody ever see them? No, oh, not really. Uh, but since that time, we've come a long way, both in terms of restoration of brook trout and our knowledge of how these fish uh, function. So I'm going to try to give you an overview tonight of the brook trout, um, where we've gone in the past, the history of the salted brook trout on Cape Cod, some of the work we've done on studying it and trying to improve the habitat for it. We talk about some of the other restoration projects going on in this area, trying to restore our brook trout habitat. And also talk about some uh, recent, really discouraging news on one of our salt or brook trout streams here at Cape Cod. Yes, good. We'll make the uh, slides. So first of all, I want to say that uh, I've been doing this since 1990, so I've been the fisheries manager here for 26 years, but as an agency, we've been around a long time, 150 years, and we're actually celebrating our birthday uh, up at the new field headquarters in Westboro on June 4th. It's a state-of-the-art lead building with solar panels and all kinds of things. So we've, we've come a long way. You can see some of these old trucks moving our fish around. That's what I'm doing right now at this time of the year is actually stocking our ponds with trout. Uh, but before we started trout stocking, there were these wild fish in our streams. Uh, but I just want to say that you know we have been doing this a long time. But it all comes down to the underlying geology. Here on Cape Cod, uh, you're formed by the glaciers. It's a relatively recent formation, about 10 to 20,000 years ago. And one of the distinctive features here at Cape Cod are these spring sapping valleys. They basically are outwash channels from the glaciers, and they carve these narrow valleys uh, that basically end in the salt water. And these valleys got flooded as the sea levels rose. These valleys actually turned out to be excellent habitat uh, for brook trout. So originally, uh, these streams had a very forested riparian zone with lots of large woody debris in it. Uh, it was basically just a jumble of trees. This is actually a picture of the Mashpee River, which I've always held up as kind of an example of what the streams on Cape Cod should have looked like uh, in the past. So you can see there's a lot of shade, it's fairly shallow, fast moving, uh, a lot of riparian cover. <laughs> The species that inhabited these streams were the, uh, the brook trout. It's our only native uh, trout species, and it's actually a char. And one thing that you have to remember about the brook trout is it's a cold water species. But here on Cape Cod, we're actually very near the southern range of their coastal range. There was actually